Hi everyone. So our next topic is ketamine. I will discuss ketamine with the help of a new technique, not as such new. It's a very commonly used technique, but we are usually not aware or we usually don't use it. That is memory map. Okay. I told earlier that picture mnemonic is one way to remember anything effectively, but you can't apply the same concept each for each and every topic. So now let me tell you other techniques just like acronyms we commonly use acronyms acronyms means mnemonic made of initial letter and this is commonly used by each and every student but in last we usually forget which acronym was for which topic so we can't use acronym at each and every place another technique is rhyme method yes i will tell later in my later discussion Yes, picture mnemonic, I have already told you. Yes, memory map. Yes, I am going to describe. First thing, whenever you to do make memory map, you take your um, notebook or you may take the page in landscape mode, not portrait. It take, take it in landscape mode. It will differentiate. Yes, when you are in exam, you must have experience that when you are in exam and you are remembering a particular topic, you remember the exact page. And that at this page, at this side, something was written like this. So it will help you when you change the orientation at that time, it increases the chance that you can recall it later part of your life. So one thing when you make memory map, landscape. Second thing, use only two color. Okay, not more than two color in a particular memory map. Yes, and when to use. Yes, when you are to remember same similar topic with slight differences, just like if I ask you that uh, ketamine, IV anesthetic agent, propofol, etomidate. Okay, this memory map concept came from computer. Yes, in computer there is memory mapping. In that there is association. In the same way, we will apply the same concept on the human. And human brain act in the same way and we can increase the output by making the association. It may be logical, it may be illogical, it may be rhyme method, it may be picture mnemonic. Okay, let me describe with the ketamine. Ketamine. Yes, in ketamine, first question is asked that ketamine is called dissociative anesthesia or ketamine produce dissociative anesthesia. How to remember in Hindi, keta, kata. Yes, kata. Yes, dissociate kia. Kata or dissociate kia. So, ketamine produce dissociative anesthesia. It produce thalamocortical dissociation, means no pain, no orientation. But patient is conscious, but having no pain. So, for superficial procedures, just like burn, burn dressing, yes, we can use ketamine, but it is used in very low dose. Question is asked ketamine is fencyclidine derivative. How to remember? Yes, cycli means cyclical structure, di means two. So there are two cyclical structure. Now we can remember its dose by writing one, two. Yes, one to two milligram per kilogram body weight. As I have already told you that in dissociative anesthesia, dose is very low. It is around 0 0.1 milligram per kilogram body weight. Yes, ketamine can be given by multiple routes, just like IV. IV route is used in psychiatry. In suicidal patient, it trial is going on. It was found to decrease suicidal tendency. It can be used orally. It can be used intra as intranasal spray and it is FDA approved for resistant depression. In resistant depression, it was found to be effective. Yes, other than normal antidepressant, we also prescribe intranasal spray of asketamine. Yes, write down asketamine. As in insumer of ketamine, it is FD approved. Yes, intramuscular rectal. So it has multiple routes of administration. It increases all pressure of the body. How to remember? It increases intracranial tension. It increases intraocular pressure. It increases heart rate and blood pressure. Yes. What is the mechanism? Actually, it inhibits the catabolism of catecholamines. 
when catabolism of catecholamines is inhibited heart rate and bp is increased so it is anesthetic agent of choice in acute shock but in chronic shock all the catecholamine of body is depleted so it is not useful in fact in absence of catecholamines it it is depressant of cardiac muscle so it is contraindicated in chronic shock it is also contraindicated in ischemic heart disease as you know in ischemic heart disease if B, heart rate is high then oxygen requirement of cardiac muscle increase so it is contraindicated in ischemic heart disease it is also contraindicated in glaucoma neurosurgery as intracranial tension is increased so it is contraindicated in neurosurgery and seizures it is best bronchodilator how to remember it is stretch this bronchus in all direction so you can say that it is the best bronchodilator now i used many techniques in memory map one thing is that rhyme method ketamine kata dissociate kiya cyclidine yes di two cycle two cycles one to two milligram per kilogram body weight multiple routes increase all pressure of the body if it is stretch it to bronchodilator it is bronchodilator in my next class i will discuss biochemistry paper of aims june 2020 thank you